The Crude Life with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies and this is the Crude Life Daily Update. On today's episode, we talk with William Prentice, the CEO of the Meridian Energy Group, about the Davis Refinery coming to Belfield, North Dakota. In just a minute, part of our exclusive interview with William Prentice, the CEO of Meridian Energy Group, right here on the Crude Life Daily Update. Jason Spies, the most trusted voice in the Bakken. I totally agree with you, and the word that you brought into this is fact. You tell the facts, and then you let people make up their own minds. If you want someone who's competent, you don't want to get a bunch of rookies. Love listening to Jason Spies on the radio, and if I miss him there, I catch him online. Let's bring in Jason Spies, who is a multimedia journalist in North Dakota. Um, Jason, what's your thought on this? No one does an interview like Jason Spies. Welcome back to the Crude Life Daily Update. My name is Jason Spies. Up next, William Prentice, the CEO of Meridian Energy Group, about the Davis Refinery coming to Belfield, North Dakota. It's been very frustrating because, you know, we expect people to look at us and see guys that are trying to do the right thing and guys and gals trying to do the right thing. We don't think we get credit for that a lot. We can't fault anybody for for asking the questions that they ask or for participating in the permit process. To the extent that they do, that's their right. And it's up to us to be willing to answer those questions and deal with those objections, uh, which we've always done. Now, I think that the fact that we've been winning in court every time we get challenged is, is something that speaks highly of the amount of work we did, the fact that we put so much into designing this project properly, uh, that we put so much time into understanding the law and are able to do something that nobody has been able to do before. You know, the latest uh, set of court challenges, you know, and I I get lectured all the time on not commenting on legal stuff. I mean, just reading through the recent appeal, there are factual uh, statements in there that are just simply not true, that have been proven to be untrue uh, for the last several iterations. And it's like people just don't give us any credit and they don't listen or, or learn from the previous proceedings. So it's very frustrating to us but we understand that the process is what it is, and, and they have the right to participate. And we'll continue to, to meet those objections as they arise. The relationship with the Department of Health is, is really important here. Um, when we first filed the air quality permit application for Davis back in October of 2016, uh, this had never been done before. Uh, they thought we were crazy. We spent a good solid year just explaining how this worked and why we were not crazy. To listen to the full-length interview with William Prentice, the CEO of Meridian Energy Group, or to listen to other exclusive interviews, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTubes. Our social media network is available at thecrudelife.com. Click on the social media tab. 350,000 social media energy enthusiasts at the Crude Life social media network. From the staff at the Crude Life Daily Update, my name is Jason Spies, asking you to keep calm and frack on.